two identical theories, two theories here. Suppose we have two theories, A and B, which look completely different psychologically, have different ideas in them and so on. But that all the consequences that are computed, all the consequences that are computed are exactly the same. They say they even agree with experiments. They add to them. The point is, though, that the two theories, although they sound different at the beginning, have all consequences the same. It's easy usually to prove that mathematically by doing a little mathematics ahead of time to show that the logic from this one and this one will always give corresponding consequences. Suppose we have two such theories. How are we going to decide which one is right? No way, not by science, because they both agree with experiment to the same extent. There's no way to distinguish one from the other. So the two theories, although they may have di deeply different ideas behind them, may be mathematically identical and they, usually people say then in science one should pay, one doesn't know how to distinguish them, and that's right. However, for psychological reasons, in order to guess new theories, these two things are very far from equivalent, because one gives a man different ideas than the other. By putting the theory in a certain kind of framework, you get an idea what to change, which would be something, for instance, in theory A that talks about something that you say, I'll change that idea in here. But to, to find out what the corresponding thing is you're going to change in here may be very complicated. It may not be a simple idea. In other words, a simple change here makes maybe a very different theory than a simple change there. In other words, although they're identical before they're changed, there are certain ways of changing one which look natural, which don't look natural in the other. And therefore, psychologically, we must keep all the theories in our head. And every theoretical physicist that's any good knows six or seven different theoretical representations for exactly the same physics and uh, knows that, the two, that they're all equivalent and that the nobody is ever going to be able to decide which one is right at that level, but he keeps them in his head hoping that they'll give him different ideas for guessing.